Well, good morning. The, this is the time of year in Oklahoma where we expect to see a little bit of wheat pasture bloat. But over the last few days, I've gotten uh, quite a number of phone calls from uh, across Oklahoma. Uh, certain producers are saying that, you know, they will have rode through the calves early in the morning, um, not seen any uh, signs of bloat. Uh, leave to go look at the cattle at the next farm and they're getting calls from the neighbors saying they've got cattle laying dead from bloat. So it can be very rapid and it can come on very quickly. Um, and it's important to, you know, whenever you see cattle that are slightly distended, it can go uh, up to severe bloat uh, very rapidly and cause death. One of the things that we expected uh, this year, uh, because we've had short wheat pasture, uh, was likely less problem with bloat, but I think it's uh, led to even more issues. The, the pasture has been uh, very short all winter, and whenever it's been grazed, like these cattle here behind me, they're um, keeping it very short. As it grows, they're consuming everything that grows back. And what's happened is we've gotten a little bit of moisture and some nice weather uh, to get it growing. And everything that grows in these immature wheat plants is very, very highly digestible. It's high, highly soluble and it's rapidly available in the rumen. And that causes a, a matrix uh, across the rumen mat and the gases of digestion uh, bubble up through that or, or, or uh, create that foam that causes the bloat. And then whenever we have a, a cold front come through like we did with some frosts, that disrupts those cell walls to make it even more uh, rapidly available. So very bloat provocative uh, pastures right now. And we're seeing a lot of uh, rapid onset of bloat and death from, from this when normally we, we just can identify it and take some measures to to get the bloat uh, controlled. I often recommend that we feed a supplement or a mineral that contains menensin that decreases the incidence and severity of bloat. Um, this helps in that if we do see bloat, it's usually less severe um, and not fatal, and then we can take steps to control it. Uh, this year, we've had a lot of breakthrough bloat. Um, where even producers that are putting out the, the next step, the proloxylene uh, bloat guard type products are still seeing some bloat. And that's because we may not be seeing uniform intake of those supplements uh, by the cattle. So most of the cattle are slightly affected or not affected by the bloat, but the cattle that aren't consuming those supplements um, are, are getting drastically affected by bloat. We do have, uh, OSU Extension does offer the Bloat Tracker app uh, where you can report incidences of bloat in your area and then other producers can see what conditions of, of bloat are, are in their area and this can help you uh, know when to uh, keep a better eye and help inform your fellow producers that bloat is a problem uh, currently. Uh, this is available um, through your normal app stores. And uh, for more information, look at the uh, OSU SunUp website. <laughs>